Welcome to this In Brilliance video on using the Font Manager feature of Alphatrix. Launching the Font Manager window is done by clicking on the capital A small a button located to the right of the font pull down menu when a lettering object is selected. The process is the same on Mac or Windows operating systems. Let's look at the options available in this dialog box. Starting in the upper left, we have the Font Filter drop-down menu. This allows you to show all of your installed fonts, or just the native, or stitch-based imported BX fonts in your font list on the right. The sorting pull-down allows you to change the order of the fonts in your list. Alphabetical is how we traditionally viewed our font list. Other sorting options include default size, which is the original size that the letters come into your project at. Other options include the minimum and maximum recommended sizes, which are allowed by resizing. When you enter in a search term, the font manager will search the names of the fonts in your current filtered list. Those that are found will be displayed in your list using your selected sort option. The information toggle turns off the font information pane at the bottom of the font manager screen so that it is hidden from view. This information screen will show you all of the characters that are mapped in the selected font, including European characters and alternates. The sizing recommendation and copyright information is also displayed. The preview option controls the display of the lettering object in your current project. Having it checked allows you to preview fonts in your hoop. Unchecking the preview comes in handy when you are in an organizing mode and don't want to be distracted by all the pretty fonts or when you want to discard a font from your list. If you would like to have your font list only show you the available fonts in a particular size range, the size pull-down menu quickly filters your font list for you. This is a fast way to find micro fonts for logo design or super large letters for monograms. Let's see the Font Manager in action by selecting a lettering object and clicking on the Font Manager button. The Category pane has a Favorites tag for quick access to your most often used fonts. Below this pane is the Designers pane to quickly view all the fonts created by any designer. This is divided into native fonts and stitch-based imported fonts, which would also include those that you have mapped yourselves with Alphatrix. The reset button quickly brings your dialog back to viewing based on the filters selected at the top. To add a font to a category, simply select it, click hold and drag it onto the tag and drop it. To remove a font from any category, right click on it and choose edit categories and remove the selected tag. New categories are added by right clicking on the category and choosing to add a tag. Yes, you can even create subcategories to help you organize. Here I have created an applique tag with sub tags of characters and numbers. You can select multiple fonts at one time using the shift key or control or command key on a Mac and drag and drop the selection onto the tag that you want to assign them to. Notice that when you assign a sub-tag to a font, it is also listed in its parent category. Other options in the right-click menu when you select a font are to rename and discard. Rename changes the name displayed in the font list, which can help in searching. To discard a font is to remove it from the font list so that it is not accessible anymore. The font cannot be in use in order for it to be removed, so be sure to select a different font, uncheck the preview, and now you can select the font and choose to discard it. And there you have a quick run through of the font manager function in Alphatrix. There is more information in the manual, which can be found in the program help, as well as in PDF form on the downloads page on our website. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to subscribe to our Brilliance YouTube channel.